Hello everyone and welcome to another update for the Ogre. This one is an overhaul to the avatar system and the fantasy equipment that you can use in the program. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is customize the avatar for this character. For that we can right click and then press right here on customize avatar. The other way you can do it is you open the character sheet and then you press on this button right here which will also open this panel. Here we can see we have all these options on top. In this one we can change the body as we did before. And here we're going to change the torso armor. But the first thing I want you to notice is that we have these two filters down here. Here we can filter by theme, so I'm going to pick fantasy since it's the one we're talking about. And you can filter it further here by type. Let's say that we pick clothing. Notice that I've added new options, for example we have these tunics and everything now has at least 8 variations. We also have this uh, short sleeve tunic for example and this one which I made thinking for nobles or merchants and such. Also I redid the, the previous shirts that were in the program. I think that they look look much better now. And we have this tunic here which I think is very fitting for games such as Iron Sword. For the armors I've added this new leather leather armor or jacket of some sort that you can use and it's also in black. If we go to the pants or the bottom slot of the avatar, I also redid all the pants and added a couple new more. And we have all these options. And now for weapons, I added bows, which were requested a lot. And here you can also filter by type, for example, let's say that we want to filter by blades and let's pick this one. Alright, and now we go over to the shield slot which is also a new addition and you have all these shields that you can use on different variations. We have some more exotic ones such as this and we have the more standard kind of shields which again would fit very well in an Iron Storm game. And now for backgrounds, you can also filter using these two options. The, the dungeons backgrounds I find specially useful or good for the avatar system. You just press on any of them and it's added and it's changed right here in your character. Once you're done, you press here on close and your character has the equipment that you choose. You can also if you press here and show as avatar, let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, you see that your character on the map also has the avatar that you selected. And this works, of course, for, for NPCs as well. So let's say we make a mercenary. We can roll a couple times. And say we use this one and we can make it a bit larger and again if you if you right click you open the panel for this for this character also you can use the button down here as well and all the equipment that I added of course ha has a female version of that equipment that goes for the armors as well as the new tonics, tunics as well. Also for the pants and such and the, the weapons such as the bow also, also fits to the female avatar as well. If you want to export the avatar you press this button right here on export and this open this panel where you can for example press on toggle background and then toggle portrait so if you want to export only the portrait of that character you can do that you can change the quality you can change the name the file name 
Once that's done, you press here on export and the file will download to your download folder on your computer or phone. That's it for this update and I'll see you on the next one.